You know, the weekend is here. The sun is out. The forecast is looking good. And all of us are struggling with cabin fever. But should we go outside? City leaders say no. Don't avoid the temptation. And King Fives, Kara L. Fallen is live at one of the most tempting places in our area, Alki Beach this morning. Kara, good morning. Yeah, good morning. So city leaders, as you said, are hoping that people don't come out here this weekend or anywhere. Really, you should be staying at home. So as you can see, it's pretty empty out here right now at Alki Beach. Of course, it's a little bit early and it's also kind of cold out here, if you ask me. But city leaders want it to stay like this this weekend during a normal day. You know, before this pandemic started in a couple hours, you might see people playing beach volleyball out here. You might see Rollerbladers going by on the sidewalk, dogs out here catching frisbees with their owners, but this is definitely not something that city leaders want to see this weekend. So that is why Seattle City Mayor Jenny Durkin has decided to close 15 of the city's largest beaches and parks this weekend. So this includes the popular Green Lake Park, Cal Anderson Park, Alki Beach Park, and other destinations in the city as well. So the mayor says too many people are ignoring social distancing guidelines and gathering in groups outside. So the governor is hoping people will continue their efforts to play their part in flattening the curve and stopping the spread of coronavirus. Uh, I heard one group suggest that um, if to get to the, your walk, you have to drive a car, then you've gone too far. Uh, this is a moment to enjoy a, a blue sky close to our home. So parks in Seattle closed last night. They will reopen on Monday morning at about 430. And of course, state parks have already closed. And depending on what city you live in, many other city leaders across the state have already closed parks. So I know it's going to be tempting this weekend, especially when we see the sun out to come to the beach or just to be out and about. But it's just a good idea to stay home because they keep saying this and I keep seeing this on every sign when I drive into work or drive just to do this for you guys. The signs say stay home, save lives. I'm live here in Seattle, Kira L. Fallen, King 5 News. Kira, thank you so much. And one quick question for you, just to be clear, your, your neighborhood parks, parks around where we see people, staying away from those as well? Yeah, it's, good, uh, it's just a good idea to stay away from those as well. As you heard the governor say, if you have to drive to get there, then that's probably too far. So walking around in your neighborhood, that is fine. That's okay. Probably a good idea to wear a mask if there are going to be others walking out in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But just try and stay close to home. All right. Thank you so much, Kira. Metro Parks of Tacoma are sending out that same reminder. While the parks and trails are still open, they say this is not a place for group activities. And Tacoma has closed several facilities, including Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, Tacoma Nature Center, all four community centers, and Metro Parks headquarters. While parks will stay open, playgrounds, sports courts, picnic shelters, and skate parks are all still closed. While well, Washington remains under stay-at-home orders, Boeing says it will resume some of its operations in Puget Sound, like Moses Lake as well. Starting early as Monday, we could see 2,500 employees heading back to work on Boeing's defense programs. Now, many stopped work on March 23rd, but to keep people safe, Boeing says employee wellness checks will be taking place at the beginning of every shift. Shifts will be staggered. Floor markings will show correct social distance. The company is also adding hand washing stations and requiring everyone to cover their face. The union representing some of Boeing's employees said in a statement, the work on Boeing defense programs is important, but not nearly as important as the health and safety of ourselves, our coworkers, and our families. It went on to say that it will be watching to make sure all safety precautions are in place. So King County has released preliminary numbers showing how coronavirus is affecting people by race. But data was only available in about half of the cases. Of more than 4,000 cases in King County, it showed the rate of confirmed cases is highest among Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islanders, Hispanics, and Latinos. Now, the proportion of confirmed cases among Hispanics and Latinos sits at 17 percent. But get this, only 10 percent of King County is made up of Hispanic and Latino people. So it is very high. Nationwide numbers show that coronavirus is especially devastating to African-Americans. Well, the black community has been hit by health care, poor health for a long time. Now you compound it by this dreadly disease. I mean, it's no surprise that we're going to get hit harder. So not every state reports cases with a breakdown by race. The White House task force says that the federal government is now collecting that data. 
The Washington State Board of Health is also reviewing the, in, the reporting requirements for all notifiable conditions. The total number of coronavirus cases in the United States stands at more than 500,000 confirmed cases. More than 18,000 people have now died nationwide. In Washington State, the number of cases increased to nearly 9,900 cases. 29 more people have died, bringing the total number of those who have passed on in our state to 475. More than 88,000 people have been tested for the virus, and that number might be much higher. We are still waiting for updated numbers from the state. The U.S. could peak in the number of active coronavirus cases by next week. That is according to new mathematical models compiled by the University of Washington. The data is intended to help officials make decisions two weeks ahead of the virus's impact. A woman whose mother died at Life Care Center of Kirkland is now suing the nursing home. At least 130 coronavirus cases are linked to that facility. The lawsuit accuses staff of waiting 17 days after the outbreak started to report any cases of COVID-19. Earlier this month, Life Care Center was fined more than $600,000 after federal surveyors found immediate jeopardy situations during an inspection.